It had a great story. It was a true story. Yeah. It's a true American story. There's a true American hero. His name is Tim Ballard. Well, Chris, you know, we're hearing a lot of talk about slavery, the BLM riots, and all of that stuff. But the fact of the matter is, is that slavery is more rampant now throughout the world than it ever has been, even in the United States or during the time of black slavery. And what's even more awful is it involves children of all people. So... Yes, at the end of the film, the, they, they said that there were over 2 million children that were enslaved throughout the world. And of course, this doesn't also account for all the other slaves throughout the world by very, very evil people. Right. It's this very complicated network that this movie touches on. So it's, it's out there. And this movie is a great movie to watch. It is simply an awesome movie. I, I enjoyed the movie. Did you? Yeah, I was blown away, Thomas. I was not expecting this level of quality. It had a great story. It was a true story. Yeah. It's a true American story. There's a true American hero. His name is Tim Ballard. It really shows the hidden, deep pedophilia network throughout the world. Yeah. And you know what? The film was so masterful at capturing all of those things you mentioned with its brilliant cinematography. I mean, it was like thriller movie and an action movie. And it used each element to emphasize something about this incredible story we listened to it. It's just great. Uh, Chris, that, that it was very excellent as a piece of art as a piece yes. of great film art. You know, I've seen art movies, uh, I've seen thriller and action movies of different levels. This was hitting the high quality notes of multiple genres in the cinematography, you know? When it came to the horror, you know, of these poor children being victimized and the evil traffickers, it hit that note right on there. It was like a horror movie. When it came to the action and the adventure, um, the angles were perfect. It made you feel like you were running with them and whatever he was doing. And when it came to the drama and the emotional parts, it was all done perfectly. I mean, this is a world-class movie. This is nothing to play around. It's not a, a dramatized documentary. You know, you see some of those on TV. Oh, this is kind of like a, they have a few low-level actors. This is a for real movie. I was surprised at the cinematography. I was expecting a B-movie cinematography, but it was the opposite. The cinematography, a lot of it was as good and better than a lot of Hollywood films that were out there. That's what I thought. I mean, they just did a great job on that. And it fit well with the story of the movie as well. What really resonates within people is a story. Human beings have been like that. You know, yeah. that's why we have fairy tales and Aesop's fables, the Greek myths and the American story of success, you know, and this right. is really a story. It is a genre of the hero story. Yes. You know, the hero who saves, saves two beautiful children that were abducted in Honduras. It's hard to believe it's a real story. It really is because it's portrayed in the story is portrayed in such a wonderful, well-paced way where it feels like it takes you through the both the, the planning of what he had to do and the adventure. And he's going into different places and getting acquainted with different cultures and the whole network. Um, it, they could have just had, you know, like you said, Thomas, a great B movie. He'll use the statistics and they have a few cheesy you know, low-level actors play out something, and then they have a guy interviewed on the History Channel. But they didn't do that. They want you to get really involved in this other world. Uh, it's it's something else. The, the actors are very real. I agree. I, I would, agree. Across the board. All, all, across the board, all of them. Yeah. The, the, the evil men were not snidely whiplash villains. Right. You know, right. the girl to the railroad tracks. They, they were real human beings, sick, distorted, yeah. evil human beings, but they were real. 
and, yes. and the the children. You know, I, I didn't think about, it, but the children's acting was awesome. Great. Yeah, great job. Wow. The acting of the children, and and of course Tim Caviezel, world class actor. And, the face that says a thousand words with him. <laughs> and 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 he played he plays the main character, Tim Ballard, the hero. And what's really cool is they look very similar, Chris. Yeah, I noticed that. That was crazy. You know, similar faces, you know, similar body types. They, they, they seem to be very, very much kind of alike. I thought that that was a really cool thing that, that was happening. Absolutely, absolutely. You know? Yeah, so Thomas, the thing about Jim Caviezel's character, Tim, is they take you into the life of an agent who's trying to save these kids. And it doesn't just, you know, quickly jump, you know, oh, okay, so here's the shootout, and now, oh, we saved the kids. It takes you carefully and meticulously of him running into people that help him along the way, and all of these very interesting roadblocks and stumbling blocks. It's not that easy to just run around the world and save kids from a cunning network of traffickers. So it feels like an adventure because he's going into, like, uh, Honduras and Colombia, all the way from America, and then he even has to do something at the the border. So, and it makes you feel like you're there. It makes you feel like, oh, these are the people that are involved in this sick stuff. And it this comes is what across as a real story. Yeah, even though it 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 plays like an Arnold Schwarzenegger film. Right. You yeah. know, he's, he's super skilled and trained, but it doesn't feel like he's just going to mow down everyone. <laughs> but, so, but he, he does end up mowing down someone, but I'm not going to say any more. Yeah. <laughs> you know, because there's an aspect of that in the film, too. Yes, there uh, is. Tim has to take, take out someone. Film, yeah. Chris, you told me something interesting before we began taping, which is you felt that it came across in the, in the film, in the art of the film, as a real story not a fantasy movie. Yeah, so you have the movie emphasize different aspects of this network and what Jim has to look into, or Tim, and it goes into the internet and it shows like seedy areas where the internet and pornography is a part of this. It shows how the cartels and these thugs who just want to make a buck and they use different kinds of traps. It shows the very, the, the culture of these poorer areas, these poor areas, they use, they predate on these people who have barely anything and they use their power to just, you know, grab them away. You know, so the South America and Mexico are very much a victim of this stuff. So it was very much, you know, this is right in line with what's going on in, in the policies of our world and our culture. But, but in that way, it didn't seem so much like a, an action adventure film, but it doesn't seem like a documentary either. Right, right. And, and it kind of like a drama, but not really a drama. It, it, it is a dramatic thing in that this, uh, a story of uh, Tim Ballard comes out right. about how he became involved in setting children free throughout the world. The director, Alejandro Monteverdi, is like, He's going to be one of the great. It, it, this film is great. It, it's beyond the typical type film. Uh, yeah, absolutely. It, it, it's just at a whole nother, a whole nother level. This, <laughs> the artistry of this film is a whole nother level. Now, there is a part in the movie, Thomas, where I thought it would, be, it would end because it already had done such an amazing job. And then it's like he goes to another genre. Okay, I'm going to try this now. And he does that beautifully. This is a triumph. Like he's hitting multiple, like it's multiple movies that could have been made from this in a different genre. And he crunches it somehow. And it doesn't feel rushed or anything or badly done. And natural and real and a real story. And Absolutely. a real American hero. To me, they should get some Academy Awards for this. I agree. I yeah, agree. Cinematography, acting, story. I mean, it's just an awesome story. 
but what do you think the chances are that they're going to get an Academy Award from, Yeah, you know, Hollywood? <laughs> I don't think that may happen at all. Uh, apparently, they had a lot of trouble trying to release it, right? This was made five years ago, and they just couldn't release it. The film was completed over five years ago, and it didn't get released until now on July 4th. And they had to go through so many roadblocks, and most of them were put up by Hollywood. They even had to spread their own movie and fund it. Um, they have their own website, angel.com, and you guys should check that out. They had to so, use... You know, you know uh, the other movie Jim Caviezel made, you know, with Mel Gibson, The Passion of the Christ, yeah. that could be done in the same way. They That's had right. They go out and buy theaters and, and run the film and and things like that. A lot of people don't know that if it's a Hollywood film that they have access to all of these uh, theaters throughout the country, but when it is a film that's more independent, a lot of times independent filmmakers have to actually buy theaters so that they can have their film shown. But we know that The Passion of the Christ was a blockbuster. Right. And this movie, fortunately, um, everyone should support, but it's doing well. It beat out Indiana Jones. <laughs> right. so that's doing pretty well for a movie like this. And, and so it's beating terrible. out Indiana Jones just from the pre-sales. Yeah. But it's happening. Awesome. Awesome. Chris, I have to give this movie a thumbs up. Yeah, I have to give this movie a thumbs up too, Thomas. It was compelling. It was entertaining. It just hit so many interesting points about this evil underbelly of this networking and it just told such a great story of a hero that lives today and is still in the, the front lines tim is still out there doing what he does i it mean was, it was just simply an awesome movie I, I i i can't you know the depth of it you know you know we didn't even talk about it, but there was a psychological depth to it too yeah you know, it, um the movie draws you into the world it draws you into the world of what these children are going through. Yes, it, it, the empathy I felt for them was just on another level. It was like, wow, what if I was in their shoes? This is horrible. This is an actual human being. This isn't a number or anything. This is an actual brother or sister that just gets snabbed or something. And it humanized so much. But I want to know more, Thomas. I really do. I want to learn more about Tim's operation, more about his stories, more about this... Uh, this this evil in our world but yeah the movie the movie really touched me and, and i think that this movie can help to put an end to a lot of this evil that is going on throughout the entire world one of the things that the movie brought out was most of the childhood pornography and and pedophilia is being supported by the good old USA. We are the number one uh, supporters of this kind of an evil. Go watch the movie. It, it is an awesome movie. It, you will love the movie. It is a good movie. And, and, and you'll be thinking about and talking about this movie, I think, for years to come. So go watch The Sound of Freedom. You will not feel like you're wasting your time. Absolutely not. This is Legatus Legionis. I am Thomas. And this is Chris Poulos, the Perfecti. And may everyone have a very blessed day. Pray for us. We are praying for you. And we will talk to you later.